Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Virgo, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Virgo. So today we'll be having a look at just what comes out for you. What is the message? We have the Queen of Cups, we have Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So get all those placements in your chart or one around you. Let's pull some more cards. It's telling you that what you want is just up ahead, Virgo. Sign of swords. Oh, we have someone here trying to find out information about you. It could be a water sign. Be a group of people here trying to figure out, figure out some things about you, some details. Six of Wands. You may have a platform here or a lot of people that are looking up to you. You have some sort of popularity, Virgo. You have success and you have popularity. You have people looking up to you and your success. Four of Wands. You're coming together with someone. All right, there's going to be like a beautiful relationship here, Virgo. The Hermit can be with another Virgo. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. This could lead to actually like family, you know, like marriages, children. We also have a lot of money coming in. We have the Fook, represent the holidays. Nine of Wands. We're setting up boundaries. All right. So, getting into your cards, I feel like. I feel like there may be some sort of water sign trying to figure out information on you, like trying to spy on you, trying to get details, being nosy. And I feel like this isn't, this isn't for good purposes here, Virgo. All right. Now, I feel like what you want is just up ahead. And I feel like that could be a relationship. I feel like it's a really good relationship. And it could be with another Virgo like yourself or someone here with heavy Virgo placements in their chart. And it can lead to things like marriages, children, you know, something long term. But I feel like you're going to be setting up boundaries with, with people here who are trying to spy on you, trying to figure out things about you. And I do feel like you have a lot of success, a lot of people looking up to you. And you also have a lot of wealth coming in, Virgo. You have the Eight of Pentacles. We're having people lining up to give you gifts, is what it feels like. So this could be friends, family, people you work with, or maybe just people looking up to you, but either way. They're coming in, giving you gifts. So this could represent like the holidays coming up. You know what I'm saying? The hangman. Why do we have someone here in the hangman position? Page of wands. Five of wands. All right. The fool. There's someone here being put in the hangman position. So being put in the stuck position until they get a different perspective of you. We have. I feel like we have a group of people here. Trying to offer you things or trying to give you gifts to be people younger than you because we have a page. And I feel like you're stepping into new territories with the Fool. King of Wands, we have Fire. Aerosil Sagittarius. So it could be a fire sign trying to give you gifts or trying to offer you something. Three of Pentacles. And we have you working with your spirit guide team to bring things in. With a fairy and you have a frog being. You have strength. You're being set free. So I feel like you're being set free from the situation. If you were stuck, you're getting unstuck. We have you moving forward into new territories. We have you working with your spirit guide team. We have you getting gifts, uh, presents. You know, the list goes on, Virgo. Judgment. All right. You may be, okay, let's say if you have a platform here. So let's say if you're like another tarot reader or something along those lines. You may be waking your crowd, your audience up with your messages, all right, with high vibrational messages. You may be freeing everybody who was stuck. Ten of Wands. So there may have been some burdens. Four of Pentacles. Also feel like you're putting more care into yourself, practicing self-care. Three of Wands. You're manifesting in your future. Six of Cups. So we have a group of people. Okay, so you're you're waking people up. Virgo, I feel like you're waking your crowd up to a, a higher stage of enlightenment. But we also still have a group of people here who are still wanting to stay stuck. People here are still wanting to stay not evolved. People here who are still like people here who could even mock you or act childish or whatever. All right, but just ignore them. High Priestess. This tells me that you're very psychic, very intuitive, and I do feel like you are another tarot reader, or maybe you're thinking about doing it, go ahead and go do it, because it feels like you're going to be a very powerful person in this community. Ace of Wands, we have a new beginning. Page of Pentacles, alright. So you, 
like I said, you're working with your spirit guide team, all right? So I've, what I feel like is to bring in a new beginning, and I feel like it's going to be a very magical time for you. It's going to be a fairies, and we also have a rainbow. This is going to be discovering a whole new world. It's going to be a time of blessings. We have money coming. We have a lot of great things coming in. This is what you're working with your spirit guide team for, Virgo. It's to bring in all these blessings, which it does feel like that. Like you are getting blessed. One blessing after another. All right? So, Virgo, that's all I have for you. And if you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.